Hey, what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Mezco 112 scale Star Trek Mr. Spock. Alright, and here is Spock out of the packaging, and my first thought is, what the hell are those? <laughs> I, I don't know what the hell he's doing wearing those damn boots. Um, I did not see that when I was uh, looking at the figure. Uh, I had no idea he was wearing knee-high boots. Heels at that, too. So that's a little weird to me. Um, I know this isn't his original costume. If you know if this is from a movie or a special episode, can you let me know in the comments? My thoughts on this figure is the head sculpt came out really damn good. And I'm glad he came out, came with a, a few accessories. But uh, as far as his top coat goes, I'm not too happy with it. And I wish the shoulders were a little more defined. Uh, but let's go ahead and get into the figure. Alright, so let's take a quick look at Spock's accessories and then we'll take a quick look at the figure. So Spock comes with his left and right fist, he also comes with a left and right relaxed hand, and he comes with a left hand kind of more relaxed, but I think this is his hand for like knocking out people, where he touches them on the shoulder and knocks them out. Uh, I'm not the biggest Star Wars Star Trek fan, so if you know what that's called, let me know in the comments. Uh, and then he has his trigger hand and his knife hand. Uh, he comes with this really cool knife. Uh, I don't know the name of it, so if you know the name of it, let me know. I like that it fits in the sheath real good. And it clips onto him. It has a little clip right there. See it? And then he comes with his phaser, which has a nice detail into it. Fits perfectly in his hand. Closer look. Looks really good. All the details there. I'm sure it's real plain. Black, blue, and silver. Looks real good. And then finally he comes with his base, which is the earth with a sword through it. And I don't know what the symbol means, so if you could let me know. And taking a closer look at the figure, I think that Mezco did a great job with the with the head sculpt. That looks exactly like Leonard Schemore. Um, I know it probably doesn't look that great on the camera, because these figures do look a lot better in person. But he really does look like uh, the actor. Looks really good in my opinion. But a few things that are bothering me is the cloth. It's like bunched up right here. And it looks kind of funny on his neck. And then the shoulders I wish were a little buffer. Because it's just, I don't know, it looks weird. The way it comes down. But it is cool how he has that symbol right there. Not sure what that means, if you could let me know. And has that Starfleet symbol right there. And the blue in his costume looks really good, but the gold kind of like shine. I don't know about that. The belt can move up and down, but it kind of frustrates me. It's not the best looking belt. Yeah. And then he has pants underneath that are just flat black. And then he goes down with his knee high, shiny ass boots. Yeah, not much to talk about about this figure. But that head sculpt is amazing. That head sculpt is cool. So his phaser fits in that little cloth band right there, which is kind of weird. I wish it was plastic or something. Why is it a cloth band? That's really weird. And then the knife has a little uh, one string that the clip that fits on perfectly right there. But what worries me about that is it's very thin and it'd probably be really easy to rip off. So be really careful with that figure. Alright, so let's go ahead and go over his articulation. Um, so he could look up a really good amount and down really good. Left and right. Arms. Honestly, the joints are a little 
really tight on this figure for me. Feels like a single, only a single jointed elbow. And the uh, hands 360, but there's no uh, turn on them or anything, so that's kind of weak. Again, I wish the shoulders were no torso joint. Uh, swivel, that's good. His legs could kick out that much. Forward that much. Double jointed knee, but the knee high boots hinder it. And then barely any pivot or forward there. Alright, so that's going to be it for this Not review professor. of the 112 scale Mezco Mr. Spock. Um, I'm not the, I'm not a Trekkie or anything. I'm not the biggest fan of Star Trek. Uh, I did grow up watching it. My dad is a huge fan of it. He grew up watching it. He knows all the episodes. He probably knows what uh, what movie this figure is from. Um, but I got this figure for ten dollars on think, thinkgeek.com, and I think it was like seven bucks shipped, so it was eighteen bucks altogether. Um, it's not the greatest figure, but aesthetically it looks really good. Um, I wish the shoulders were a little bulkier. That's probably my only complaint on the way it looks. Uh, the head sculpt came out great. It looks like Lin uh, Lin Leonard Skimor, or I'm pretty sure that's his name. He passed away a couple of years ago, so rest in peace, sir. Live long and prosper. <laughs> well, uh, anyways, uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys thought of the figure. Um, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. Alright, so wanting to learn a little bit about this figure, I looked up why he had a goatee, and this is the Mirror Universe uh, Mr. Spock. And I guess, you know, the Mirror Universe, he has a goatee and he's evil. Uh, I, didn't, I just watched a YouTube video, I didn't look too much into it, but um, mess, messing around with the figure and taking uh, some shots, it's, it's actually a really cool figure, the detail in it is so nice. So, yeah, hope you guys like this review, uh, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what you guys thought of the figure, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.